Uh, that's a very broad question. Uh, I'm actually, you can probably tell from the shirt, which is orange, I'm actually in the cryptocurrency space. Um, I also introduced the internet to Hong Kong in 1993. Uh, I personally believe that cryptocurrency and blockchain technology, which is uh, in its essence is actually a governance technology, will probably prove to be uh, the most um, game-changing uh, technology um, today. AI, they're both somewhat empty buzzwords, just like AI, the, detail, the devil is in the details. But the reason why this is important is because um, at the IGF, we are still dealing with a, um, a mindset which is from West, um, the Westphalian view, right? So that's 1649 of uh, nation states. Whereas the internet is, doesn't care about law and borders, it's really about the network. So it's not geography, it's about topology. And so that's a very different mindset. And so these technologies, blockchain or distributed ledger technology, whatever is the politically correct term, um, fundamentally revo uh, revolves not on the source of legitimacy being the law, which is law and borders, it's confined within the country, but in terms of the law of mathematics. And so I like to say that nothing is above, no one's above the law, but no nation is below maths. And so these two technologies will actually um, provide a new way of looking at governance, right, through its radical transparency and through the mechanisms of accountability. Now, this, the reason why this is a problem in the current uh, global context is we have lots of challenges that are washing up on everyone's shores, um, migrants, uh, climate change, the future of work, etc. And we're going to have to have new ways of cooperating at scale that we have never seen before. So cryptocurrency is like Bitcoin, or it's a good example of a tech that it didn't exist. It's not linear incremental innovation, it's breakthrough innovation. It's coming up to its 10th anniversary, and it's a pleasure to talk about Bitcoin at the IGF. So if I was to have a guess, it would be that these technologies or blockchain and cryptocurrencies combine incentives with the way that we can have transparency and accountability. So for nation states who traditionally have had to wrestle with the internet, which doesn't respect borders because we don't think like that, we have a new governance tool in our policy toolbox. And that's why I'm optimistic about this specific technology.